More than 20 prisoners escaped a prison in Ciudad Juarez. It was the first hours of 2023 outside the State Center for Social Reintegration, Cerezo, number three in Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua. A group of people lined up to enter the prison and visit their family members deprived of liberty. But they did not know that after a few moments, an armed command will break into the facility to start a riot in which more than 20 prisoners would escape. But minutes before the riots, elements of the municipal police were assaulted with firearms while circulating on Manuel Gomez Morin Avenue. This caused a persecution that culminated in the arrest of four men and securing of a Ford Expedition van. Subsequently, a second armed attack was reported on Paramenicana Avenue where preventive agents repelled the aggression and managed to shoot down two crew members of a Homer-type vehicle. It was the beginning of a day of chaos. At first, it was reported that a group of more than 20 armed subjects aboard armed vehicles opened fire on the security elements that were in the main hut of the prison, where two custodians were allegedly killed. The attack was perpetrated in front of the relatives of the prisoners who were in the Cerezo on the occasion of the New Year's visit. It was around 7 in the morning. While that happened, outside the prison, there was an intense shooting and the aggressors arrived at the second booth in the custom area. The riots began inside as the prisoners took advantage of the mutinity caused to attack some custodians and set fire to mattresses and furniture. The main objective was to release a criminal leader who faced more than 200 years in prison. Despite the fact that agents of National Guard the Mexican Army and the State Secretary of Public Security deployed a strong operation in front of the Ciudad Juarez prison to control the situation. The Chihuahua Prosecutor's Office confirmed that 17 people were dead and 10 were security officers and 7 in prison. So 10 security officers died and 7 prisoners as well. El Neto was the goal of the escape. And while the event took place, another 13 people were injured, 3 officers, and 10 prisoners. And the state prosecutor's office stated that 27 prisoners escaped. Among the prisoners that escaped were Ernesto, alias El Neto, and Cesar, alias Chilin. It is presumed that both will be the reason why the riot even took place, in addition to the fact that they have been identified as alleged members of the criminal group called the Mexicles, which operate for the Caborca cartel. It was reported that after the riot, authorities found firearm and a plasma screen in the cell where El Neto was staying at, according to local reports. It is estimated that the riot and the escape lasted about 10 minutes. And to escape, the armed subjects moved to Area 5 of the prison, Model 18, where they would wait for El Neto and El Chilin to escape. So it is presumed that the custodians were subjected and handcuffed according to reports from El Diario. The former governor of Chihuahua, Javier Corral, pointed out that El Neto, who was facing a sentence of more than 200 years for kidnapping and homicide after his arrest in 2009, was one of the generators of the greatest violence in the city since the prison. He claims he may show aggression after his escape in addition to calling him the most heartless and hardest narco. In 2010, El Neto had already tried to escape from Cerezo No. 3 of Ciudad Juarez, but because he was injured during the riot, his escape could not take place. Likewise, it is presumed that it would also be related to the riots and violent acts that were recorded within the same prison in August 2022. So basically, El Neto did two riots in the same prison.